Hey, it's Brent from Soda Hub, finally again. All the way from Dallas, Texas, and over 600 miles away from Travis. I am here today to try the incredible, and hopefully edible, Mountain Dew Major Melon, and the limited edition cyberpunk-inspired Rockstar Samurai Cola. Is the melon a major, or is it a private at heart? Will the Samurai Cola be a flop like the game it is based off of? Let's find out. So first, let's try the Major Melon. As you can see here, looks pretty nice, don't it? <laughs> Wake up, <laughs> Major Melon. So as you see here, we have, you know, this little guy right here, Major. Hopefully he's a Major and not a Private. I hope it's good. And here on this design, you know, you have scary looking plant. <sighs> Don't want that to get you, do you? I don't. But, I mean, it looks nice. The packaging's really nice. I like it. Pretty cool looking. All right, let's get, let's see how it tastes. All right, here we go. So, you know, uh, it's good. It kind of has a candy kind of watermelon taste. I wish it was more sour, though. Well, let's get another sip. So, there's a lot good here. I mean, you have a really good watermelon taste, really good fruity taste, a little bit of sour, but not nearly enough sour. Like, it could really benefit possibly from, I would say, maybe a lemonade flavor, maybe kind of tastes like a weaker version of the Mountain Dew Spark I tried before. So I'll give it I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's pretty good, but it kind of misses the mark and it could have done a little bit better. And that's the case on Mountain Dew Major Melon. Does it look pretty cool with this new mic or what? So before I start, let it be known that this is the fourth time I've tried this drink. It's either the filming has been blurry or I was not able to get the audio going or I didn't press play. <laughs> it's brilliant. So here we go. This is the Rockstar Samurai Cola. It's based off the game Cyberpunk 2077, as you can see on the side. Pretty cool looking. I like the decals. I mean, you know, it's a pretty cool looking soda. Energy drink, whatever you want to call it. You know, I mean, limited edition, got the red and black going, got these little guys on there. Not really sure what their names are, I haven't even played the damn game. I mean, I have a PS4, who would? <laughs> but, limited edition drink, I'm trying it for the fourth time now, but I didn't record it, so here we go. So... It's got this aftertaste that gets worse every time I taste it. It's like bitter. Like a bitter kind of, I would say, kind of like cough syrup. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> but, I mean, it does have the cola taste. It has a little bit of a, I would say, hints of blueberry as well. So, I mean, best way I can describe it. Think of a blueberry Dr. Pepper. I think they were released in 2018, a little bit while ago, but imagine that, putting it in the glass with a couple of ice cubes, leaving it out probably about an hour to 90 minutes, letting all the carbonation leave, and letting the ice cubes melt. So you have a really weak, flat, blueberry-tasting cola. That's what this is. It's not that good. I mean, it does have promise, but you know what? This gets a 4.5 out of 10. Flop just like the game. Raised my hopes up for nothing. Why do I do this? <laughs> you suck. Major Melon was not on par with its ranking, coming in at a 6 out of 10. Demote that million immediately. Samurai Cola flopped like the PS4 version of the game, coming in at 4.5 out of 10. Don't waste your money. Thanks for watching. We ain't dead yet.
Also, this video is sponsored by all of my boys rocking the maid costumes and my dog Guppy. Y'all have a good one, and don't forget to like and subscribe.